Okay, that's my Lionel 394 rotating beacon. Got it powered up uh, 13.85 volts. Uh, instructions say 12 to 14, so I don't want to go beyond 14 because we don't want to stress that bulb. My ZW providing the juice. And this one's all red, painted all red, so dated probably 1949, I believe. Very old, and it's all original. The bulb, I think, is original, and the beacon, I think it is. I mean, I certainly never changed it. And I had I got these in the early 60s from my uncle. So I had to do some work. The beacon from storage, the fins on top were flattened, so I used a, a knife to bring them up. Tried to imitate ones, uh, pictures I've seen of new ones. And then the pin was uh, out, if it had fallen out. So I had to glue that back in. I used um, this glue. It's like an airline glue. It kind of comes out like when you when you apply it, these long strings come out, you know. And it and it's it start, it gets tacky and then it takes a while to cure. So I gave it 24 hours. And it, and it's good for metal. So I'll show you up here. These are the fins that I I try, and there's that pin, which you can kind of see the glue I added. I mean, originally I don't know. I doubt if they had glue. It was probably just kind of press fit in there, but. And there's the fins, which you see are pretty high up. I think I'm, again, imitating pictures I've seen, because when I opened up this box to sell it, it those fins were pretty well pressed down, kind of, and uh, I didn't think that was good. So I cleaned the bulb. The bulb had a film on it, greasy film. Cleaned it with dishwashing liquid, so the bulb, nice and clear. The, uh, the uh, dimple, of course, has to be nice and clean. And I applied some alcohol with a Q-tip to the pin inside the point so that that had nothing, no tarnish and nothing on it. Very carefully, you know, you have to, everything with this thing is super delicate. And especially with that last bit with the pin, it seems to have helped because I was having trouble. I had to, I had to blow air with a straw under there to get it going. And of course it wouldn't, it wouldn't keep going. And, uh, but now... With the cleaning and and getting that making sure that this thing is level as possible and not having any vibrations in a room or anything it's working okay so i wanted you to see that and uh it's very slow but that's that's i think the way it's supposed to be it's not going to be spinning like a top that would look pretty kind of weird for something i mean you imagine this is imitating something that's huge right sitting by the tracks it's not going to spin real fast. So I hope this is useful.